All right, so we're gonna catch some peacock bass now, and this is my go-to peacock fly. It works really well. This is a Gamakatsu B10 Stinger in a size two. It's uh, my favorite hook because it's very sticky, as they say, but peacocks tend to open it up, so. But because they short strike very often, I like a really sharp hook. Um, even, even when they bend the hook open, they still don't come off, so. This is yellow chartreuse thread. Um, and I'm using some orange marabou for the tail. You want to get about one or two uh, feathers, I guess you call it. Just chop it off. Get a lot of movement out of this material, which is why I like using it. You don't need to put a lot and it works really well. This fly should imitate a small little mine cichlid or something along those lines. Um, just the brighter and heavier, more obnoxious the fly looks, the more aggressive the peacock will eat it, usually. Yeah, peacock bass eat a fly much better than, than lures just because of the presentation. Um, you get to keep the fly in the zone longer than you would a lure, and a lure doesn't have that darting motion quite as much. So when I do, when I did do a lot of spin fishing for them, I just tie pretty much the same fly but on a jig head and just use that because it's hard to find a lure that would actually imitate uh, what we're tying right here. I'm getting some uh, some green crystal flash. Add some depth to the fly. I just get about four strands and then double it over. Fold it to the other side. And again, I developed this on my own, so I'm probably doing things wrong or not by the book, but it works. So that's all that matters to me. Pseudo eyes. I like that they're heavy and they don't break when you hit a a bridge piling or anything like that, they will not break where standard lead eye always breaks in half and then you have a weightless fly that does nothing. This is EP Tarantula in a orange and yellow to help imitate a Mayan cichlid. You know, put a few wraps on here and try to taper it as it goes forward a little bit. Push the fibers back. really helps it sink and push through the water a little better. Now some of these brush fibers are thicker than others, so I was able to get about 12 turns on the other fly, and this one I can only get about five or six. You don't want to put too much because then the fly won't sink right. So you want it to have a darting action in the water. Peacock seem to respond to that darting action really well. That'll do it. Another little peacock fly. All right, so these are the three main colors I go to when I peacock fish. I call that one cotton candy, sweet and low, and tootsie roll for no reason, just for comedic value, but uh, works out.